Mein nächster Gast wird mit seiner Band heute Abend ganz sicher, wie der Name ja schon sagt, die Ärsche kicken. Von den Dropkick Murphys freue ich mich extrem, jetzt Al bei mir zu begrüßen. Er spricht hervorragend Deutsch, aber wir wollen in Englisch sprechen, da fühlt er sich sehr viel wohler. Besser auf Englisch, ja. Okay, let's start in English. You're gonna kick asses tonight, that's for sure. What else can we expect? Hopefully we'll, you know, we're gonna, um, you know, we always look at a show as like, as, as we come from it from a, 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 we're all fans of music. So when we go see a band, we don't want to just hear like from a new record, the songs. We want to hear like, you know, um, a variety. So that's what we do. We do, you know, we'll play, we'll play songs off of the new or the newest record, the latest record, Sign and Seal and Blood, but we'll also do um, you know, songs from, you know, going back, you know, 17 years to Gangs All Here and you know what I mean? So we'll, we'll be doing, we'll be, we'll be mixing it up, you know what I mean? We like to keep it interesting for the fans, you know, so, you know, the people that have been seeing us for the last, almost, the band will be 20 years um, next year, so it'll be, you know, you know, it, it, there's people, there's, there's been a lot of people that have been with us a long time, so they want to hear not just the new song, so we'll play, you know, a variety. So. 20 years, good good thing, because this is 20 years of Taubertal, it's a birthday, you like the location, you like the venue? Oh, it's beautiful here, yeah, no, as soon as, as, soon as I opened my little uh, slide window there in my bunk on the bus this morning, I looked out and I said, oh, I remember this place, this place is beautiful, yeah, no, it's gorgeous, I'm in southern Germany, Bayern is the best, you know what I mean, I'm sorry, but that's how I feel, you know, you know, ich bin a Bayer, you know, my mother is born in Regensburg, so, you know, I'm like, you know, ich bin a Bayer. <laughs> More than Boston? Yeah, no, I, it, you know, definitely, you know, my sister was born in Boston, I'm actually living in New Hampshire, which is an hour north of Boston, uh, my father taught in Boston, I lived in, I lived in, you know, the suburbs of, of Boston, I lived in Cambridge as well, when I was a kid growing up, so, you know, I mean, and, and when, and having bands all through the 80s and the 90s, you know, if you wanted to play somewhere, you played Boston, because there weren't a lot of venues, you know, in my town, so Boston was the place to go and play, so, I mean, I, it's, it's so relative, it's right, it's an hour away, it's like, you know, it's, it's like Nuremberg and Munich, you know that one. Because you love Bav uh, Bavaria, yeah, perfect. Let's play with the number 20. If you look back at L at the age of 20, uh, would he expect the person he's uh, that's sitting right next to me right now? Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I would have, I don't think I think I'd be alive still. You know what I mean? I mean, I, uh, yeah, you know, when I was 20, I was in a street rock and roll band called the Bruisers, and um, you know, I was. Uh, You know, I carried a baseball bat in the back of my car. I drank a lot of beer and uh, I, you know what I mean? And, and there were a lot of, uh, there were a lot of things I got into that I look back now and go, how did you live through that? How did somebody not kill you? You were such an asshole. Um, you know, I just, you know, I, well, you know, it's like I, I had a lot of anger issues when I was in my 20s, I guess, you know, I guess that's why I didn't have children until I was in my 30s. You know, I met my wife when I was 21. And uh, two days ago was our 22nd wedding anniversary. You know, we've been together for 25 years, uh, 26 years actually in October. It's a very cool thing. She needs an award for having been with me this long, <laughs> um, for putting up with me. But, uh, but yeah, it's, I mean, I, I definitely, I, I, I never ever, it was always my dream since I was 14 years old. I mean, since I was a kid, I was singing in chorus and choir and stuff. But since I was 14 years old, um, this is my first punk band, you know, it was always my dream to do music for a living and I did everything else for a living but always had a band, you know, cleaning toilets, washing dishes, unloading trucks, um, whatever it was that I had to do to pay the rent so that I could play music, you know, so, uh, but it, it, when I was 20 years old, if you had told me that, you know, this many years down the road, 20, almost 28 years now down the road from 20, giving away my age, but my sideburns do that for me. Um, I, I would tell you you're full of shit. Um, it's not never, it would never happen that way. Um, you know, that I would be earning a living from music and be able to support my wife and my three children. It's a blessing and I'm very grateful. And uh, today I know that I'm a very lucky man. And uh, I try to, you know, I'm always tied into where I came from. You know what I mean? So I never ever 
kick back and go, oh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't ever lose sight of, um, and I think the band has that attitude, you know, the people that I'm in the band with, we all feel like, you know, this is, this is a blessing and we're lucky to do it. And, you know, and it's not something, yes, you have to respect it and you can't go around, you know, with this entitled attitude. You know, I see so many of my peers with this, like, they think because they get on the stage and people go crazy for them that they're a god or something. You're just, you're just playing music. You're not doing, you're not teaching anybody. You're not a doctor. You know what I mean? You're not, you know, what are you doing that's that important? You're entertaining some people and that's a good thing. And maybe you're forgetting, you're making people forget about their troubles for a little while, but and that's important and music's so important but at the same time keep it in perspective you know what i mean you're not any better than anybody else you know and i think that's our that's that's our attitude and that's why we stay grounded you know i'm completely knocked out this guy's crazy this guy's good this guy is a ein Mensch, ein Mensch, wie man ihn sich wünscht. Ein Mensch mit Respekt, der die Kunst hat, Musiker zu sein und äh, zu verstehen, dass es auch nur ein Job ist. Um, thanks a lot for your time, Al. That was, I'm really, I'm so confused. There are no many questions. Uh, and, <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. That's beautiful. And um, we appreciate that you play here tonight. And we're looking forward to this cool gig. Um, for the next 20 years and even 20 more and 20 more for your, your wife, your children and your band. Uh, I wish you all the best and thank you, for, thank you for your time here. Cheers. This was L from the Dropkick Murphys. Yeah.